using the Laplace transform to solve the system of linear equations. And you are also given the conditions here. So apply the derivative, the derivative theorem on both of these equations. I have S capital S of S minus X sub 0 plus capital S of S minus S capital Y of S plus Y of 0 plus capital Y of S equals 0. Now for this one, apply the, 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 the derivative theorem. I have S capital S of S minus X sub 0 plus capital Y of S. S capital Y of S minus Y of 0 plus U capital Y of S equals 0. And also plug in the conditions in X sub 0 equals 0. So that is gone. Now uh, simplify this a little bit. Let's see. Combine this together. I have uh, x times s plus one factor of capital y of s uh, capital y of s out. I have mm, yeah, this is just negative psi. So s minus one equals negative y of zero and y of zero equals one so I have negative one. And for this one we are going to do the same thing. So this one just rewrite it because there's only one term. For this one we have two terms. Factor out capital Y of S. I have S plus two in parentheses equals uh, y zero equals one so I have positive one. Right. Uh, now for the first equation for this one, I'm going to solve for x of s. That means I divide both sides by a s plus 1. So I have this. Okay. For the second equation, solve for x of s. Again, I have this. Okay. Now since this and this uh, they are equal to x of s, so set these equal to each other. And then, solve for capital Y of s. This one, this one is on both sides, so I'm going to move it to the left side and factor it down. So I have s minus 1 over s plus 1 plus s plus 2 over s equals 1 over s plus 1 over s plus 1. Alright. And let me do this. So combine this together, multiply this by s and multiply this by s plus 1. So I have s square minus s plus s square plus 3s plus 2 all over s times s plus 1. Okay. Similar like this a little bit, I have 2s squared plus 2s, plus 2. Alright. So, divide both sides. Uh, now divide both sides by this. I have uh, s plus 1 over, I'm going to factor out the 2. Okay, plus and um, s over 2 s squared plus s plus 1, right? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Now since they are the same denominator, I'm going to combine the top together which gives me 2 s plus 1 over 2 times s squared plus s plus 1, right? And I also want to complete the square on the bottom, which gives me s plus one half squared plus three over four. So s squared plus two times one half, which is s plus one fourth plus three fourths, would give me four over four, which is one. Okay. All right. And I also need to have s plus one half on the top. Okay. So, uh, let's see.
So on the top I factor out the two. Okay, so two times is two s plus two which is just one. Right, this two and this two cancel out, and this is my and this matches with this. So apply the angles on both sides. I have. So this is a cosine function. That gives me e to the negative one half t cosine root three over two t. Okay. So if you don't know how I got this one, you're gonna take. Well, actually, you have to know it. And uh, if for you, know, you if you wanna make sure you you know, you are going to take the Laplacian from this one, so the Laplacian from this one gives you s over s square plus root three over two square, which gives you three over four, right? And you also have the shift here, so whenever you see the s, you need you are going to subtract negative one half. Which gives you s plus one half, s plus one half, okay? So this is the equation for y of t, right? Now we also need to solve for s of x of t. So let me go up here. Uh, let me use this. Let me call this equation one and this equation two. So plug in uh, using equation two and plug in this, okay? So equation two, you have x of s equals 1 over s minus s plus 2 over s times y y of s and y of s is equal to s plus 1 half over s plus 1 half square plus 3 over 4 okay now no, distribute this out so multiply this out I have uh, let's see I have s squared plus 5 over 2 s plus 1 over s times s plus 1 half squared plus 3 over 4 okay so you just multiply top together multiply the bottom together right now for this one you're definitely gonna use the partial fraction decomposition method uh, although I don't like that method, but I have to use it because there's no other there, no other way. Let me use a different color here. Uh, yeah, just uh, just forget the negative side for now. Since you already know how to use a uh, partial fraction decomposition method to solve this one, I'm not gonna go over to uh, for the sake of saving time. Okay, but I also saw my work here, so let you know what I'm doing. Okay, so I have to figure out A, B, and C. Now plug these back in here. So I have A over S, which is uh, minus 1 over S. And B is 0, so I have 0. C is uh, 3 over 2. Okay. Find uh, this uh, distributed on the negative side. I left with uh, 1 over S minus 1 over S. This is gone. And I have negative 3 over 2 over s plus 1 half square plus 3 over 4 equals uh, capital S of s. Now apply the inverse on both sides. I have x of t equals. So in order to, so this is similar to, uh, if you notice, we have a side function here unless we have uh, root 3 over 2 on top. Right? Because you have a uh, root 3 over 2 squared when you uh, go, when you take the Laplace from. So I multiply the top by root 3 over 2, I need to multiply the bottom by that, okay? So that gives me uh, e to the negative 1 half t, psi root 3 over 2 t, and the leading coefficient is negative root 3, okay? So uh, 1 half divided by 1 half 0, negative 3 over 3 is a negative root 3, okay? So this is your find a solution this x of t and y of t so that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time